Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and install 14 on Mac. This is a special community client for Final Fantasy 14 that's going to run the Windows version of the game on Mac OS. And this is going to be using a special customized compatibility layer called Wine, which allows Windows software to run on Mac hardware. And what's special about this is that it's community maintained and it also performs substantially faster than the official Mac port. And it contains a host of features, including extensibility and plugins. And it also officially supports the Windows license for Final Fantasy XIV and not just the Mac license. And this is all really down to the community tweaks that 14 on Mac introduces, which heavily optimizes the performance. However, if you want to receive any official support from Square Enix, then you're going to be using the official Mac port, which still runs pretty well considering this is a Rosetta 2 game running through a Wine compatibility layer. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install 14 on Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this website, xivmac.com. So this is basically Final Fantasy XIV alternate client on Mac. And what we're going to do is we're going to download the beta 4.2, which is the latest version at the time of recording. And that's going to start downloading this tar.xz file. So just let that download. So once the file is downloaded, we're going to go to Finder, and then we're going to go to our downloads folder here. And then we're going to find XIV on Mac, and then we're going to double click on it to extract it. So that's extracting now. And then we have the 14 on Mac, and we're going to drag and drop this into the application folder. So within applications, we're going to scroll down and then we're going to find this 14 on Mac, double click. And it's saying here, 14 on Mac is an app that you downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? Press open. So what we have here is an alternate launcher for Final Fantasy 14. And what we need to do is to enter our Square Enix ID and also our password as well. So I'm going to enter these now. Here it's saying that 14 on Mac would like access to my documents folder. Press OK. And that's saying that it's logging in. So here it's asking us whether we want to launch the vanilla game or a version with Dalamid plugin support. I'm going to open the one with the plugin support. Press next. Here we're going to select our license. So I'm actually currently using the Mac license. However, if you have have a Windows license or a Steam license, you can use this on Mac as well. However, in this example, I'm going to use the Mac version. Press next. So here it's asking us whether we have an existing installation. This is useful if you've already downloaded Final Fantasy 14 on Mac. You can use an existing installation. However, I'm going to download this from scratch by pressing next. So this base game is going to download. This might take a bit of time depending on your internet connection. Just wait for that to complete and we can move on to the next stage. So now what's happening is that we are downloading further files. So just wait for that to complete. But occasionally if the game crashes, you can just force quit it and just open it up again. Just click on the Apple logo, click on force quit, force quit, 14 on Mac, force quit. I'm just going to launch it up again. Now it's starting the game all over again. So if you want to see the frame rate, what you can do is go to the launcher and then click on here and then click on preferences. And then we can turn on within the graphics tab, select all of the DXVK options to get the DXVK HUD full. So we've loaded up the game and we're back into the world. In the game, you can see it all works pretty well. This is running on the M1 Max chip and we're running at the default graphics settings. So one of the reasons this is running better is due to the improved DXVK level. We're using the async version of DXVK and also the latest version of Vulkan as well. So it's going to perform a little bit better than the official macOS version. So I'm just comparing the difference between the official Mac version, which is on the left hand side of the screen and 14 on Mac, which is on the right hand side. And as you can see, there is quite a big difference, especially in this capital city area. And 14 on Mac on the right pulls ahead by an average of around 10 to 15 FPS. Here we're comparing some open world gameplay and on the right we're running around 110, 115 FPS, whereas the official Mac port only gets around 90. And this is all really down to the community tweaks that 14 on Mac introduces, which heavily optimizes the performance. And it also allows for various plugin support as well, which I haven't delved into as I'm not very familiar with that scene. So if you want better performance, definitely choose 14 on Mac. And if you want that extensibility as well, you'll be choosing the Community Edition. However, if you want to receive any official support from Square Enix, then you're going to be using the official Mac port, which still runs pretty well considering this is a Rosetta 2 game running through a Wine compatibility layer. But that being said, the 14 on Mac team is very responsive on Discord. So please make sure to check it out if you need any support. So anyway, that is my tutorial for 14 on Mac running on Apple Silicon hardware. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.